Cleveland. News 5 at 5 starts now. And we begin here at 5 o'clock with chilling new developments about what prosecutors say was a foiled school shooting plot at West Geauga High School. Now, last week, police arrested 18-year-old Brandon Morissette, who was found at the school with a gun in his backpack. Now, just moments ago, he made his first appearance in court. News 5's Bryn Caswell was there and joins us live in Chardon. Now, Bryn, the prosecutors gave us the first details of what they say Morissette had planned. Right, Courtney, the Geauga County prosecutor told me that the suspect admitted to wanting to go into the school library to shoot it up. And he said that the suspect admitted that because there would be the most amount of students in that location. The 18 year old was arrested April 3rd after police found a nine millimeter handgun with three loaded magazines in his backpack at West Geauga High School. He was also armed with a knife. The suspect is charged with attempted aggravated murder, illegal possession of a deadly weapon in a school and inducing panic. Today, Morissette pleaded guilty by insanity for inducing panic for that charge. The Geauga County prosecutor requested no bond for Morissette, and that's what the judge granted. There's a sp specific statute that allows the prosecutor to ask for no bond. It's not something we've utilized very often, but in this case, we felt that it was necessary to protect the community. And in this case, there's devastation and hurt felt by a community, and that community should know that that pain is being felt by his family and himself. Morissette was in a mental institution before coming to the Geauga County Jail today. Investigators say he will continue to undergo mental health screening. Now, the next date coming up is May 3rd. That is when the preliminary hearing for those felony charges will take place. And again, when speaking with investigators today, they tell me this is still in the very early stages and in the next coming weeks is when we'll learn more information about what exactly led up to this situation. Reporting live in Chardon, Bryn Caswell, News 5. Bryn, I don't even want to think about what could have happened if that plan was not Thanks for following through on this story for us.